Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back to Canon Fodder. The channel, I've got a little audience here, the channel for Arsenal fans <laughs> all over this world. I see some of you have been coming to the live chats and I haven't even gone live yet. It's absolutely wonderful people. So welcome to the first um, live show of today. I'm going to be coming back later on this evening. There are a couple of um, pre-recorded videos. I've got an audience of two now. <laughs> There are a couple of um, pre-recorded videos coming up um, after my this morning show is finished, and also when I come back late one in the evening. Um, so as usual, we've got like three bits of uh, live news, um, a serious bit of news about racism in football again. Kind of a little bit fed up with this, but um, I'll give you my thoughts on um, those three segments of live news right after this music intro. Yes, like I said, welcome back to Canon for the, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. Yes, welcome to the first segment of the day. Pre-recorded videos, I think there's probably two actually coming up uh, right after this one. And uh, I'll be back live again later on this evening. But we need to get this one out of the way. Before we get to this one, uh, guys, make sure as usual you subscribe to Canon for TV. Hit the bell notification button so you can receive all the latest news right here. We've got an audience. We've got a little audience here. So if you hear the laughter or the clapping or the booing, <laughs> or, the, or the raspberry. <laughs> and actually, an awesome one is actually my sister. And I remember someone said on the, on the show that they wanted to marry my sister. <laughs> and I said, guys, behave yourselves. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Anyway, anyway, guys, let's get into the first segment. The first segment of the day... Uh, Get the link. I think queue up, did I? Oh my goodness, yeah. It's in regards to uh, ex gunner Alex Iwobi. And this report actually comes up from the um, Sky Sports titled Thank You, Unai Emily. I'm not sure why I'm saying thank you, Unai Emily. Arsenal fans react to Okocha's claim <coughs> Alex Iwobi was forced out of Arsenal. Iwobi was sold to Everton back in 2019. Ah, the time flies very, very quickly but the gunners are pocketing a fee of a region of 34 million uh, for the forward but speaker on goal yesterday actually day before yesterday a coacher who was a woman's uncle claimed that his nephew had struggled initially at Goodison Park after being in a shock essentially being forced out of the Emirates a coacher said Iwobi was obliged by the club to accept the deal Ultimately, the move worked out quite well, with Iwobi now going on to become one of Everton's key players under Carlo Ancelotti. Really? I don't think so. However, Arsenal fans, as usual, have been having their, their say on Twitter, on social media. Twitter was full of comments um, from Gunners fans who were somewhat taken aback by Okocha's comments. And you can include me in that as well. It happens. It happens. Players come, players go, players stay, you know, they overstay their welcome. And I kind of got the impression with Alex Iwobi, he probably had stayed maybe a season too long, hadn't really developed, hadn't really progressed. And to say that he was, you know, forced out of the club, it happens. Those things happen. And look at that, he's saying in the report, actually, it's worked out quite well for him. It's worked out quite well for Iwobi. At Everton, even though I kind of tend to disagree. But guys, come into the comments and let me know your thoughts about these comments from Okocha. Yeah, Iwobi's um, uncle said he was forced out. He was forced out. Anyway, anyway. Uh, there's another bit of news. Second uh, news is in regards to uh, Matteo Guendouzi, my brother's uh, favourite player. <laughs> yeah, he's not my favourite player. <laughs> Arsenal outcast. Matteo Guendouzi has no future at Hertha Berlin and will return to the Emirates this summer. No! No, I don't want him back. I don't want him back. Please, guys, make it go away. Make it go away. <laughs> anyway, the report goes on to say, uh, with the Frenchman now standing out as a result of his theatrical appearances with the Bundesliga side, <coughs> uh, Matteo has no future at Hertha Berlin and will be sent back from whence he came. No, I don't want him at Arsenal. The hot-headed Frenchman was ousted by Gunners' boss Mikko Arteta last season 
following uh, altercation with Brighton players during a match where uh, it was reported he had made had uh, boasted about the wages that he received. As a result, Arteta sent a 21 year old on loan to Hertha Berlin in the hope of offloading the major the player permanently at the end of the season. I don't want him back. I don't want him back. I know it might divide the, the live chat or some of the subscribers. I might lose some subscribers, but I don't want Matteo Guendouzi back. I don't. Mindset and the right attitude trumps talent every single day. Some of you have said, oh, actually, Matteo Guendouzi can do a job for us in the midfield. He's probably better than most of the midfielders we have currently. And then what happens? We hear that he's going to be fighting again, arguing with Mikko Arteta. Mikko Arteta doesn't have time for those theatrical attitudes there. He's talented, no doubt, but we don't need that back at Arsenal. So Hertha Berlin, you can keep him. Better still Arsenal, try and source out another European uh, club. That you know, We don't want him back at Arsenal, personally. I don't want him back at Arsenal. But guys, again, you can come in the live chat and tell me you know, whether you want him back, but for me, myself and I, it doesn't get a pass here, man. A pass to come back, an Oyster card pass to come back at Arsenal. Thank you, no thank you. And the last bit, and the most serious um, segment um, of all, um, quite, um, it's, it's not sad. Is it frustrating? I just, I'm just kind of fed up with this. Really, really fed up with this, this news here. Um, oops, where is it? In regards to some racism. Racism. I'm going to read a report and I'll tell you my thoughts again uh, about this. Glenn uh, Kamada, Rangers midfielder, reveals extent of alleged racist abuse suffered uh, in uh, Slavia Prague. Uh, Europa League. And the funny thing is, now, if the tie does go ahead, there's more, there's more, um, how can I say, it means a lot more now than ever. But anyway, the report says, Rangers midfielder released statement with fresh claims about uh, Andre uh, Kudela, uh, Slavia Prague player earlier said, that I absolutely deny there was anything racist uh, uh, to those words. Then I'm thinking, why cover your mouth? Why cover your mouth? Be brazen to say that. Why are you covering your mouth? Kamara has claimed that the Slavia defender, uh, Kudlera, um, covered his mouth with um, his mouth, his hand, before racially abusing him in the Rangers 2-0 defeat at the hands of uh, Slavia um, Prague in the last 16, uh, the, the tie at Ibrox. In a statement released on uh, Slavia's English uh, language website earlier on Friday, Centre-back uh, Kudela uh, admitted that he had used offensive language but denied using racist language. In a statement released through his lawyer, Kamara um, said, there is no place for racism in any form of bigotry in football. Since the summer, many of us have taken the knee in solidarity with those who have lost their lives in social and racial violence. If UEFA genuinely wants to show racism the red car, card, then it's time to stop the tokenism and take a zero tolerance approach. As a player, I do not expect myself nor any other to, to have a tolerant racial hatred on or off the pitch in 2021. Now, like I said, it, it has even more significance to it. I spoke to certain people, contributors on Canada 14, and they said, well, it's now time for FIFA and UEFA to, to, to step up. Ha! Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. That won't happen. 2021. 2020, 2019, we can go through all the years would have been black players facing the same thing game in and game out. Do I expect FIFA and UEFA to take any action? Nothing's going to happen. Nothing ever does. And if they do, do you think it's going to be like a significant uh, punishment for, for the, uh, the club, Slavia Prague? Nothing is going to happen because nothing ever does. What is it going to take? A change in attitude towards that, that thing there. Racism in football. There's been so many projects over the years. Kick racism out. Show it the red card. This, that and the other. And yet we still face and we hear about racism. And don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong on this. We're looking at them over there in uh, other parts of Europe. We have those issues here. In England, we have racism in this country as well. But 
the sum total of all those in, over the history since year dot, nothing is going to be done about it. Because I guess what I'm saying is maybe FIFA and you know, UEFA, they have those elements there in those organizations. Nothing is going to happen. And I'm sorry, sorry to be a down on that. Because, you know, if you not notice, I'm a black person. I was born in England. And I face racism, and I continue to face racism in all its form. Much less you've got a high profile player like Kamara coming out with the statement, you know, from his lawyer there. Nothing is going to happen. Nothing. Right. Let me go to the last um, segment, like new segment is in regards to uh, Bukayo Saka, our wonder kid. Uh, Mikel Arteta issues an uh, update on Bukayo Saka for Arsenal fans. Mikel Arteta has revealed that Bukayo Saka will undergo a late fitness test ahead of Arsenal's trip to West Ham in the Premier League tomorrow on Sunday. Yes, we're back in Premier League action. Saka has been missing due to an injury, a problem. Was it, was it a hamstring issue? Just say it like it is. It's a hamstring injury. Anyway, you know, um, he goes on to say, this is Mikel Arteta, we spoke yesterday and he wasn't ready to be involved today. We've made that decision and we will take that decision for Sunday against West Ham. Then we will talk to the doctors um, at the national team to decide what we do. Now, Saka, still aged 19, has been in excellent form for Arsenal so far this season, scoring six goals and making five assists across all competitions. The Gunners will return to Premier League action after an international break uh, when they face, or when we face, Liverpool FC at the Emirates on the 4th of April. Now, my take on this, like we spoke about it on the live show yesterday, is that there are a few players fatigued. Now, whether it's physically fatigued or mentally fatigued, that is down to the manager. His man management skills needs to be improved. How is it possible that we've got a 19-year-old with heaping so much responsibility on his shoulders? He's tired. He's fatigued. He's deserving a rest. And I've been, not been saying this because hindsight is a wonderful thing. I saw this coming. I saw this coming. So what's going to happen? We'll have to wait and see. I don't want to see him playing tomorrow against West Ham. I don't. But, you know, what Alex wants doesn't always get. Nobody listens to me. I've got an audience of one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The live chat has just lit up. Lit up. Let's see who has joined me in the live chat for this morning show. <coughs> if someone wants to be a part of the Canon 42 family, oh, really? Just you can send me an email, can't he? Brighton player wants to be part of Canon 42 TV. Anyway, I'll take that. Uh, and it's got the entire panel to <laughs> close singing Irish eyes. I'm fired up. Can't wait. Morning, Alex. Colin, good morning to you, my friend. <laughs> Monty, my moderator for this morning, says, uh, Morning, Alex, and the Canon 42 family. Monty, good morning to you, my friend. Morning, Monty, moderate, uh, moderator of the year candidate. I'll tell you what, he's, Monty's my VAR, man. He's my VAR. Uh, morning, Alex. Uh, that was some easy talk last night. Very enjoyable. I I'm glad you enjoyed it, Des. Thank you so very much for that. Uh, Monty, uh, some, some niceties. Some niceties in live chat going on there. There you go. There you go. And my second moderator, Ashidi, says, Hey, up, power to the gooders. <clears throat> Amit, good morning to you, my friend. I hope you're well. I know you've been working hard because back in the day last year, you used to be in the live chat almost every single day, but now I can see it, it is work. It's work. Hey, everyone. And you say, Hey, hey everyone again. Not sure why. Uh, morning, Ashidi. Uh, Alex uh, Hecklin, moderator of the year. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad you have that title there. Thank you. <laughs> I know I said this um, last night, but Kieran and Cedric have taken defending to another level. They can uh, uh, they can cross and pass a ball better than some of the midfielders. Yeah, they can. But then there's why is it Arteta doesn't Cedric should be playing all the games, every single game, unless he's fatigued or he's injured. But he should be he should be playing. And good morning, Arsenal, Alex. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I sent you an email in regards to that, that bit of work, if you want us to undertake that work for you. I uh, hope you're well, my friend. 
Uh, doing great here. Uh, how are you, Amit? I think Amit's fine. Uh, it's between you and Colin May. <laughs> no, it's not. There's a few more people. <laughs> uh, Arsenal, Alex says, uh, we must win tomorrow. Is it a must win tomorrow? I mean, how much how much are we going to progress at the table? Probably ninth place. And my orders of one just said, yes, we've got to win. I'm saying nothing. Yeah, you got it wrapped up then. Yeah, yeah how oh, every game. Uh, he was never forced out as I, as far as I know. Yeah, well, but you know, it's these things happen. These things happen. You know, when we need, again, the players are the club's assets, and if they're not performing, then by all means you can sell your assets. But it does say in the report there that he's quite happy now at Everton. Anyway. Korean says, I will take Guanuzi over Shaka uh, all day, uh, every day. Ooh. Con, I will take anyone over Shaka. <laughs> you will take anyone? Be careful. Be careful. <laughs> I prefer neither, obviously, uh, but if I had to pick between the two, uh, there it is. Okay. Uh, I do not want Guendouzi back and never was really impressed with him either. Uh, and I agree with you as well, Colin. If I had, uh, if and only if, if we buy Erdegaard, uh, can a can of to your family get the Viking hat <laughs> with the horns? Hey, I tell you what, that's that's something. So you, if Arsenal buy Martin Erdegaard, you want us to be wearing the Viking hat with the, with the horns? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. And maybe my orders one might even do that as well. <laughs> that's a great hat let's do it let's do it Colin says Walid Yusuf says old is gold time will tell Arsenal is still a life I don't understand old is gold time will tell Arsenal okay I think I understand that I know we've got to go uh, one game at a time but I just can't help uh, drawing over Unai uh, back at the Emirates uh, for a match up. I, you know, quite controversial. I would I would have loved to have had that tie there, Arsenal versus uh, Villarreal. And uh, they get a submarine to beat Arsenal. That's controversial. Only because I'd want a lot of people to say, oh, well, we, sh we should have kept Unai Emery. Yes, of course we should have had Unai Emery. One point off top four. And we got into Europa, Europa, Europa League uh, final. Only for the majority of players not to turn up. That's controversial though, isn't it? Bronze Dosser says, Kamara used to play with Iwobi in the youth team. Yes, he did. I remember. I saw the photos. And yeah, I remember Remember that. Uh, and it's still Arsenal. Arsenal may get... Uh, oh, if UEFA come down hard on them, uh, they should be punished. They should be punished, but nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. I'm absolutely sure of it. And like I said... The tie is is more significant than than before now. Oh, there you go, there you go. <clears throat> okay, but let's go back into the live chat. We will always have uh, that under developmental um, ten percent. I could only wish everyone they catch it, and that will was punished loudly and publicly. Yeah, but it, my thoughts are. Because I'm, FIFA and UEFA, they don't take it that serious. I've got an audience of two now. <laughs> Alex, will Saka leave the club next season? Uh, no, no, he won't. How do I know? Because I'll make sure. <laughs> I think he should. You think it, you know, why do you think that? Uh, listen, listen. When you are building a house, what's the most important thing you have to do when you're building a house? It's to lay the foundation. Yeah, a house built on, on, on no foundation or soft foundation will surely collapse. The youngsters, the young players are Arsenal's foundations. So if you're selling, you know, our crown jewels, how are you going to build a, the strongest house possible? It can't happen. So no, we're going we're to keep a hold on Saka for quite a few years to come. Des says... Alex, uh, you are my brother. I hate that you and your family have to put up with uh, racism in this day and age. It is disgusting. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
But in, in footballing terms, I'm, I can even remember the photo back in the day with John Barnes. Someone threw a banana at him and he just flicked the banana back. Up until this point, that is still going on in football. These players do that because they know what's the most that's going to happen. A thousand pound fine, two thousand pounds. Well, that is like pocket change to them. Because FIFA and UEFA, they don't take it serious. They don't take it serious. If he wants to win anything, one second, because my audience wants to get past. Audience of two. If he wants to win anything, n no, no, nah, no, no, no. Like I said, you know, um, difficult situations reveals a person. And so when the tough situations come, you can't just run away. You heard that. My audience of one. And so if he's running away, let me just change the camera around. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's got to stay through the good times and the bad times. Uh, let's see where we are. I'm in, says uh, El Tell, the original Godfather. Thank you for that, Tell. <laughs> Thank you guys for your time here with us on Canon 4 TV, says my uh, headline moderator, Monty and Joseph and Mitty. Uh, I think you're Yubi. I've not. I don't know to recognize your name. It's funny, you know. I always wonder, you know, would I remember, you know, all the the people who are the regulars, and I do. But I'm not recognizing the name. I'm thinking, oh, yeah, I think you're new. But anyway, but Joseph, welcome to Canopy TV. Afternoon, man. At least I haven't done Uber today. Watching from Zambia. I agree with you. I think Saka is tired and needs to take a break. All the way from Zambia. Alex, I hope Louise leaves the club next season. So do I. So do I. I had enough of him, to be honest. Uh, and it says, Colin, I am good. i uh, been busy with work. And that's why I said, Amit. You know, I knew it. And you, but last year, they like you. All these difficult questions you were sending me. And I was thinking, where, where's Amit been this year? It's work. Work. Uh, TH stands for Tim Hogan and, T uh, and Terry Hogan, uh, not for those boys down the other end of Seven Sisters Road. <laughs> yeah, Tom, Tom Hotspurs. <laughs> and it's totally right about Cedric. Yeah, Cedric should be playing. You know, unless he's injured, unless he's fatigued or tired, he should be playing. Above and beyond, yeah, Hector Bellerin. Is Ingers going to join us? I have no idea. I have no yeah. idea. Uh, can we have a Viking segment on Canon 4 TV hats and all? Of course we can. But only when Arsenal have signed have signed the, the Viking LTL. I've got all this too. I'm going to turn the camera on all these people over there trying to distract me. Can you imagine if I was in the, in the stadium? At stadium? In the studio? I'm actually going live. No, not now. No. <laughs> Can you imagine if I'm, you know, doing like a live segment in front of millions of people? I've got the audience doing all those laughing. <laughs> Do you want a cupcake? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, going on. Uh, ouch! No, please. Saka stays and becomes an Arsenal legend. Absolutely, I agree with that. He's not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. Uh, you've, 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 now, now you're just spamming the live chat. Now you've already sent me that message. Don't, don't spam the live chat, please. See, where's my moderator? He's not, he's not picking up this spamming. Come on, guys. I think um, someone needs to be sacked. Ashley D. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Stephen uh, says uh, Sackers should rest. Yes, he should. I don't want to see him play tomorrow. Alex, I'm, uh, am I mistaken? Martinez came uh, to us as a striker. Are you really, are you really to believe uh, he needs to be retrained? <laughs> To, to, yeah, to what he was meant to do. Is it because Arteta played him as an out, out of position? That's a good point, actually. I didn't even think about that because I've seen the footage of him seemingly being trained to be as a as a striker. But you're right. I mean, he can play as a winger or as a striker. It's like he's he's training a, a, a cat to be a cat or a dog to be a dog. Just a question, Alex. Does resting players affect form? 
No, it doesn't. It protects their health. It shouldn't affect their form. And that's what happens as well. When, you, when you're too reliant on, on a small group of players to get you over the line, fatigue, man. But there's no I in team, is there? I'm trying to run through this very, very quickly. Uh, I was most disgusted when uh, Arteta used uh, he needs to work harder. Come on, man. He's probably probably the hardest working. The hardest working. You actually, you see that. You see that on the pitch. Head down is like a bullet, and it just running all over the pitch. A lot of the senior players can learn a lesson from that. <clears throat> Alex, which homegrown players uh, should uh, you sell? Would I sell for cash uh, for new players? Well, I wouldn't sell to buy new players. I would just sell the players. The players are not performing. Just get them out. Bellerin, Shaka. I don't say Iwobi, but Iwobi doesn't play for Arsenal anymore. Um, I would sell Aubameyang. I would. Uh, David Luiz. I'm going to question mark over um, Chambers and Holding. Joe Willock, possibly. As you might know, I'll keep him. And Nketia, again, I'm on the fence on, on these players. But I wouldn't sell the players to buy new players because got players in the under 23s. I just want to, by the way, actually, I've got um, received this from my sister. My sister's right here. This is like a, 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 a present from my sister to both my wife and myself because we celebrated nine years in the anniversary. I'm saying that because they, I've got an audience from two there. <laughs> My headline moderator, Monty, says, um, let's get those likes up, please. Uh, I am Ugandan. Ugandan, what about Martin? Well, Martin is Brazilian. If you've asked him about his nationality. What do you mean about that? I subscribe if you're new here. Please, people. I'm going to try and wrap this one up because I've got a couple of, I've got an audience of two here. <laughs> I will take Alex's cupcakes. Thank you. No, you won't. No, you won't. Uh, Mark Webber, welcome back, my friend. I hope you're well. Um, any news about new players? I uh, don't like AZ McNiles to loan. Uh, but I'm so happy at, if Emmy or new solid keeper coming. <laughs> Mark, don't start a debate again, man. You know my thoughts about Emmy. For me, he is and was our number one goalkeeper. But um, there are two videos coming up after this one, this live show, which will give you some in, in, insights into two players Um who have been linked to Arsenal over the course of a month. So check out those two live videos there, pre-recorded with my voiceover. <laughs> there says, uh, Alex, is your sister a gooner? Oh, through and through. Through and through. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> <laughs> we're not, we're not, we must not play the slow game management style. Don't have the players for that. Uh, let them beat us playing our game. Listen, if we're going to lose, I want Arsenal to go down you know, fighting with the blows, you know what I mean? Go down fighting, man. Spamming must be coming from Facebook because I don't see it on here. I think you're right, actually. I'll let you off, I'll let you off actually. I was thinking I'm going to have to sack one of my moderators. Anyway, you actually joke uh, with me on Thursday when I join late uh, that I have done an Uber and I'm not necessarily uh, new here. But thanks for that little comment. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. So I think we're going to stop calling it an Uber. If you're late, we call it an Uber. You're doing an Uber. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> now my audience is coughing now. Unless the rest becomes uh, the rust like Martinelli... As Alex says, the man management, uh, that's going to be the challenge. Yes, it is. Alex, is your wife an Arsenal fan? Now, yes. Now, yes. No, before, no. No. <laughs> they they give me a lot of before. Today, yes. Tomorrow, no. Today, yes. Tomorrow, no. <laughs> Emmy Martinez, uh, the vacuum cleaner, catch and safely release. Uh, take note, burnt, burnt level. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh dear. Alex, could you please do a player profile on Pat Jennings? Yes, I will. 
I will. I've had like a lot of requests. Yeah, time, man, to do all that stuff. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy doing all the stuff on Canapoy TV because, uh, yeah, because you, you wonderful people pay some money. Pay? Pay? You can support your friendly local podcaster. Just make a donation using the super chat button. Pow! Whap. <laughs> We take donations as little as one pound. If you are in the region where you can't see like the super chat, which is like the dollar sign, we've got the link for our PayPal account in the description. So there's no excuse. And that's the truth, Ruth. All right, quickly back into the live chat. Uh, pa Patrick, can he? What? I don't know. Hi, it's a hope all is well with you. Leno uh, has said uh, they were nervous in the second half against the Piakos. Yet again, weak mentality. This is a huge problem with our squad. Patrick Kenny, you were probably seen yesterday, or maybe not, in the easy talk. I actually said, I'd actually read the, the segment where he's talking about, well, you know, everything's for the first 15, 20 minutes, we were fine. We didn't take our opportunities. After that, we, we made silly, easy mistakes. And then when we got to the changing rooms, all the players were quiet. And I said on the easy talk, that shows a lack of characters, a lack of leadership. How is it possible you go into you know, the changing rooms, the game is over, and it's quiet? That's the moment you should hear the captain speaking. That's the moment you should hear the vice captain speaking, saying, guys, that performance was terrible. But you go into the changing rooms, and it's quiet. There are no leaders. There are no captains. That's the problem. A lack of characters. A lack of characters. Alex, Alec Hodgson says, uh, why don't Arsenal play um, their own game? Don't copy Man City. I've always wondered that, actually, since Arteta has come to these shores of Arsenal, that he is trying to play like Man City. That's not our, our style. That's not our style. But listen, he, he's inexperienced. He'll make mistakes. He will learn from his mistakes. Monty asks Alex, what does El Nini have to do to start? Pay Arteta. <laughs> I don't know, Monty. I don't know. He was our best performer on Thursday night against Olympiacos, and yet he got taken off. I don't, I don't know the answer to that question, Monty. Hi, Alex. I sent you an email. Thank you for that, my friend. Just do one more before we take a uh, pause for the cause. <laughs> Actually, he says, so if if you're late, you're called an Uber. So Alex is always late. This must be Uber Canon for the TV. Ho, 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 ho. Very funny. Very, very, very funny. I think I'm going to have to sack my second moderator. Anyway, guys, we're going to take a quick pause for the cause. I'm going to um, send and show you guys the promo video where we're talking about our online digital services. <clears throat> so have a look at this. And I shall see you on the other side of this promo video. Online digital services. As part of the Canon Foy TV experience and services, we're now extending out into additional online products such as voiceovers, thumbnail artwork designs, and video editing for small YouTubers who have less than a thousand subscribers. Voiceovers. If you need voiceovers for short videos, 30 second adverts, stories, intros and outros, then we can do this for you. Let us know the length of the voiceover and we will give you a polished audio file in less than no time. In addition to this, thumbnail artwork designs. As we pride ourselves on sharp HD thumbnail artwork designs, we can do this at a relatively low price. Send us your specifications and we'll produce eye-catching designs to attract subscribers and followers to your platform. And finally, video editing. We have a range of video editing techniques, special effects, and software to produce a polished end product for which it can be completed in the quickest time possible. Now, if you would like help and support getting your channel promoted and your subscriber count going, then send us an email at arsworldpublic1 at gmail.com. I repeat, arsworldpublic1 at gmail.com. We are here for you for the Canon Foy TV experience. 
yeah, we're here for you for the Camp Two experience. Like I said, if you are thinking, oh, you know, I want to start my own YouTube career, and I can, if Alex can do it, anyone can do it. But you know, what? I don't know how to start. How do I start? Send us an email at ArsenalRepublic1 at gmail.com and we can talk about the, the finer details and uh, offer you the services. But it will cost uh, like a nominal fee. It's not going to be like outlandish fee, but yeah, someone's got, we've got to eat. And we can't just live on bread and water. Anyway, guys, I'll quickly run through the, the last bit of um, these comments in the live chat and uh, we're we'll going to be done and dusted on this one here. Uh, Alex, thank you for your email. I've just received it now. Uh, let's see what else. David Keeves says, uh, good to see you, mate. And good to, well, good to see you commenting in the live chat. Let's sort out the midfield. No Oneni or Danny. And play with pace. Erdogan, Emosifro, Laka and Pepe and Saka. No team could live with that pace. But I'm always reminded, my old, my old um, sports teacher, pace is nothing without control. Pace is nothing without control. And look, Pepe, one of the fastest players, Thursday night, what was he doing? Lacking the football intelligence. So as much as you know, we've got the pace there, pace is nothing without control. Right. Uh, Colin says, uh, just don't, uh, don't, just don't be a W. <laughs> Colin, come on, man, come on. <laughs> Support a good and subscribe if you if you can. Yeah, Monty's just left the <laughs> link for his channel. Uh, you guys are brutal, man. Brutal. There's a link. So go, make sure you go over there and, and subscribe to Monty's channel. Wonderful content. Alex, would you drop all as captain and give it to Kieran Tenney, a, a born leader of men and so consistent? Well, David, I think you kind of answered your own question there. Alex, would you drop all as captain and give it to Kieran Tenney, a born leader of men and so consistent? Yeah, of course I would. Of course I would. <clears throat> Inconsistency, inconsistency has been our biggest flaw this season. We are surely still very far from getting back to the glory days. Hopefully we can get back soon. Yeah, that hope there. Uh, uh, am I allowed to mention my channel here? Uh, well, I'll, I'll mention it for you, Alex. Um, Alex, Arsenal Alex. Alex, that's not me. This is Alex, if, you make, if that makes sense. Arsenal Alex, Alex has his own channel. Does that make any sense? No. Does that make any sense? Because we're both called Alex. Anyway, this guy is called Alex. He's got his own channel, which is called Arsenal Alex. Does that make any sense? Yes, now it is. <laughs> uh, help me out, sis. <laughs> And then he could change his last name to... No, no, no. That would work, Monty. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, another person uh, touting Captain Tierney. Well done, David Keith. Thank you for that. Uh, Colin, so true. Uh, do you think Arteta is respecting the players? If if not, if not what? What? If not what? Oh, my goodness. Um, I lost that question. What what I think with Arteta, he has not been consistent. His approach, whether it's you know dis uh, discipline uh, approach or otherwise, has not been consistent. If you're going to discipline one player for one thing, that has to go for all the players. Uh, from what I'm seeing uh, of Party, he's uh, either overrated or uh, we at Arsenal can't get him to 100 percent fitness. <clears throat> oh, sorry, thank you. No, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome, mates. All right, guys, you know what? I'm going to call this one to an end, you know, having like an audience or two, like chit chatting in the background there, but it's okay. It's okay. This is preparing me when I have like the, the our own studios, because like, there's a certain um, director and an uh, entrepreneur called um, Tyler Perry, and like, he's got his own like studio. No, sis? Tyler Perry? Hasn't he got his, like, his own studio where he can like, film? But anyway, anyway, so I'm preparing myself, you know, for having like my own uh, audience yeah. whilst I'm trying to re record and do a live show here, right here, right now. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me on this uh, morning segment. I just kind of wrapped it up in uh, just on 40 minutes. But before I wrap up this one, here is... Oops, there is a link to a 90 second video.
Now, my brother had like his own perspective of how he does things. Quite passive. But I'm a little bit more than that. I go like a thousand percent. I just like, I push the pedal onto the metal. Now, no hose bars. No hose bars. This 90 second video is for you. I'm going to say it will. It can change your life. If, we, if you would only just press a link. 90 seconds. But some people prefer to watch Desperate Housewives, Love Island, not investing 90 seconds on this video right here. 90 seconds is just within my attention span. 91 seconds, you've lost me. But 90 seconds is just within your attention span. Click on it. Have a look at the video. It's inspired me, as you can probably see. I'm just fired up every time I do the Canon Foy TV, then some. Have a look at this 90 second video. It will help you, it will secure your short term, mid term, and long term future. Have a look at this video. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, guys, I believe uh, <laughs> we are done and dusted. Is your manager called Cupcakes? No, 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 no. Is my manager called Cupcakes? What kind of question is that, Alec? <laughs> I don't call my wife Cupcake. I just call her Amor. And Amor in Spanish means love. love. Yeah. Amor. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Nice one, guys. We, we are done and dusted here. And uh, we're out. But I'll be back later on this evening to give you like a another live segment just going over the, the news again because I, I got I got slaughtered last year people complain oh you only talk about the news once I was thinking where have you been I reviewed these at least three times on every segment anyway if you're new make sure you subscribe be part of the bigger community here on this wonderful channel and if by chance if by chance you've been wondering who or what you've been listening to you've been listening to 